bit. Looking for yeah. Yeah, all right. What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. Once again, we're back heading out to Port Luzi to fish for some spring kings on Lake Ontario. With my dad here. Just the two of us on the boat today, so we're only running four rods. But it's that time of year where things are really heating up, so we're looking to hit a two-man limit. Let's see what we can get. We are on. Camera angle, guys. Just the two of us here. And yeah. He barely popped that clip. Oh, 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 oh! I wish you guys. I wonder if you guys saw on the camera. He did a nice little jump. He's not bad size. He's not bad size. All right. I wish we had a. I wish we had Johnny here. Nice. It would be nice if we had Johnny. Hands. Hey, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Not that thick. Oh, when it does that, it's uh, scary. So yeah, greens, uh, greens have most been working so far, but not for us today. This guy said, "Go to the greasy chicken wing," and five minutes in, that thing hit the bed. Uh, he's very green still because he kind of ran at you. Salmon. <laughs> Just the boat. I got this. I have that fish. Alright, and you're ready, I'll bring him. What? Whatever you want. I give him. Well, close to that, yeah. not that fish. Not a bad fish, guys. I'll show you the salmon. Another beauty. Lake Ontario Chinook salmon on the greasy chicken wing. Love that spoon. Hooked right in the corner. Boom. Let's get some more. Alright, guys, so we dropped this to the bottom, marked some Lakers, and immediately it got hit. So I'm 90% sure it's a Laker. It didn't pop the clip or nothing, so. Yeah, this is the lake. Stay him down. This is dead weight. <laughs> yeah, it actually does make you think, you know, salmon, they do fight pretty well. Pretty hard pound for pound. Then again, lake trout wall are probably the two weakest fighting fish I've ever seen in my life. So. Look at this. Look at this Larry on top. Come in, Adam. Oh, he's dropping. I don't think he's on this. Bigger, right? Yeah, those are the fish we marked. Yeah. 100%. That's crazy. Probably hit him on the head with the, the downward wall. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's Alright guys, this is a lake trout, I don't know the Latin name, Johnny does, but unfortunately Johnny's not here with us today, decided to sleep in this morning, and she say he missed out on some fun times. So this guy, he's hooked, barely, oh look at this guy, look at this. he was doing those rolls on top, look where he's hooked, just barely in there. And not very long, but fat. I'd give this thing closer to 15. 
That's nice. a good fish. Healthy Niagara Bar Lake Trout. Look at that mouth. You can tell how old they are by how screwed up looking that mouth is. That one, we're gonna double up here. I'll get the next one. I think it's another Laker. I just sent it down to 35 near the bottom. I think it's another Laker. Oh, jeez, dude. Is it a pop or slipper as well? You could probably just hook him in the back as you're trolling over him. <laughs> I just dropped it, man. Lots of fun, guys. Oh, look at this. there's more markings. Hey, they're coming up. Yeah? Yeah, that's the way He's doing that little roll with that. Okay, you need the net right now? Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Dude, who's the magic speed? Good for salmon? Also good for lake trout if salmon's slow, though. So. Yeah, it's a laser. Ready, Smaller, not as chunky as the other one, but it's a good fish. Nevertheless, so. Look at that. Reese Chickwing. This food comes out in the net again. That's why net job is huge, guys. Big net is important because if you get the fish half in, that hook catches the net, you're screwed. Alright? Alright guys, we're going to try a slave trip. Now, I know the mercury and all that, you guys can go on and on about it. This is a smaller guy. I don't know how old I get, but he's really cool in markings right now. I've sure never had a lake trout deep before, so look at that. Look at that fish. Look at those markings, guys. That's a sick creature. I think since he's so young, honestly, it's like the same thing as eating a three, four year old salmon. So, yeah, we're going to try him. Oop, let's come out. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's get some lines back out there and miss some more fish. Booyah. All right, guys, we're just packing up now, and I want to show you something quickly before we get to the fillet table. Look at this watercolor right now. If I dip my hand in, look how clear it is. So we just came off, we just moved a little bit off the Niagara bar, and you can't see it, but there's a definitive mud line where the water gets a lot, a lot greener and murkier. And that tends to hold the warmer, murkier water, and it holds the bait fish. It is so key to look for that water when fishing for spring king, lake trout, whatever, because there will be zero fish in this blue water. And we've seen that today. We kind of started out by Port Weller really, really slow. And before we knew it, we packed up, headed to the bar. Watercolor was a lot better, a lot more markings. And yeah, we got three fish, picked them up pretty quickly, but it might slow down. So we're gonna head in. And we'll see you guys at the fillet table. Yeah. All right, guys. We are here. I'm going to show you guys how to play a lake trout. If you want to see how you play a salmon, it's going to be in the white eye above. We just did that video. Last video, we showed you guys how to do that. Anyways, Jack came in with the scale here. Hey. Jack, you want, you want to do the honors, Jack? Sure. All right, I'll, uh, I'll pick up the fish. So, the other laker we didn't get a measurement on. The big one, I'm going to guess around 15 because she was pretty fat. This one is <laughs> just under six. Beauty. So, so mm -hmm. not too big. Yeah, not too big, which is a healthy, healthy size, I guess, to eat. Yeah. All right, let's get him done. Get the scale out of here, Jack. That's just adding an extra thing. To the... That would uh, work to prevent it from slipping. Slip it? Yeah, look at that blood. I Man, I did not bleed him properly. I'll tell you that. I don't know. The yeah. meat is uh quite red almost on these things. There's that air bladder, right? Or stomach. Yeah, that's the air bladder. Stomachs don't play like that. So that's me going through the 
angle it down a little Kim more. Bones. Oh, I am angling it down. You hear me going through those bones there, right through the rib cage. And boy, is this thing slippery. Holy, we did not gut it. So, yeah. Watch out, Jack. Not bad, actually. You do get a lot of most of the meat. Look at the color of the meat, too. It doesn't look Let's so keep bad. Keep that out of camera, guys. That is getting graphic. But well, we're going to show that because on JK Fishing, we show it all. With this lake trout, Nothing very, sensitive. very nice colored meat. But we're going to we're gonna make sure to trim out all the Trim out line. everything near the stomach cavity. It's got rope. Everything near the stomach cavity is going to be trimmed out. All the fat near the outside is going to be trimmed out. And we're just going to try it. Uh, we're not having like a huge portion, portion size. This is just for research purposes only. <laughs> My mom's laughing right now. She's like, this is not going to end well, but... No, it'll be fun. I know people do eat them. They eat them um, up right. north. A lot of the smaller ones they'll eat, obviously in cleaner bodies of water. But same idea, related to brook trout, great eating fish. So I mean, these are not trout. They're actually a type of char in the char family, so related to brook trout. But there's a common misconception that people call them trout. Okay, so okay. just uh, clarify that for you guys. Sharks. So how old do you think so, this fish? Again, was? I actually left Me? a little bit of meat. This is something, guys, uh, you'll see people do. You leave a little bit of the stuff in between the uh, skin and the meat. They do have a layer of fat, like a sheep's head. Like I said, lots of fat and on And up here, too, they got a layer of fat. This is to withstand the cold temperature. Yeah, so they're gonna be covered in fat. Like, see this? You don't want that stuff. I tried to get that out, but I went a little bit too close there at the beginning. A little bit of that won't kill you. But yeah, I'll get the pin bones out, shave off the fat, and we're gonna try some lake trout. And we're gonna cook this, some salmon with it. Johnny's got a great recipe for you guys. So we'll see you back in the kitchen. Well guys, we're in the kitchen and what we're gonna do, it's a quick, simple recipe that really shows us what the differences in the flavor of the lake trout and the Chinook salmon are. Cause we kinda wanna, we've never had lake trout before and we kinda wanna gauge what it tastes like compared to the Chinook salmon that we usually keep. So let's get into that. What we have, lake trout here, chinook salmon there. This one in my right hand, this one right here is a lake trout. Notice how it's a little more orangey in color than the uh, Great Lake Chinook salmon. So that is an initial observation. We'll have to keep that in mind, see if that has anything to do with the uh, how it looks when it's done. But both of them should look pretty much the same when you're done. We're gonna start off by adding lemon juice. You could use fresh lemons, but we don't have them right now. And uh, we're just going to pour some on both of the fillets. One tip, actually, if you're ever cooking with lemon juice or lime juice or anything with fish, you apply that first. Because if you apply it later, your fish is going to end up washing off all the spices when you pour it on. All right, there we go. Next up. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. I love my garlic, which is why we got this big thing of garlic powder, because I know I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly. Put it on everything. Just gonna sprinkle some of that out. Oven's ready. It's preheated to 450. I'm not done dressing these. I'm gonna finish dressing these and we're gonna put them in the oven. Gonna put some black pepper. Gotta make sure they're exactly the same. Yeah. And the pink Himalayan salt. Then what we're gonna do, last thing before we put it in the oven, or second last thing, is we're gonna put some uh, parsley on. There we go. There we go. And before we pop it in the oven, I'm going to show you what's going to give this the best flavor you guys will ever see. Butter. Everyone loves butter. At least I think so. So I'm just going to put some a little bit around the edges. So what's going to happen is this butter is going to melt in the oven. And it's going to kind of seep into the fish, adding a little extra bit of flavor. 
what you want to have with these fish. And it also keeps the fish moist so it doesn't dry out. We'll have to see. Yeah, always use oven mitts. I'm gonna put them side by side on the middle tray so it's not biased towards any fish. Just to make sure that it's even. Oh, the left side does get a little hot. <laughs> no. We're gonna set the timer for, let's do 15 minutes at 4.50 and uh, see you guys when it's done. Time's up. Fish is ready. Ooh, 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 wow. How does it look, Joe? Good. This was a lake trout. You see the butter? See? Yeah, that's why I added it. Nice touch. Hey, Chef Johnny, had a boy. You're sizzling. There we go, guys. Put some on a plate, and me and Joe are going to try some. Okay, so what is the recipe? Recipe? What'd you put on here? Lemon and butter. Now, those are the main ingredients. Lemon juice, butter, a little bit of parsley for garnishing, salt, pepper, and garlic powder because why not? All right, good. So we're going to test these and see how they are, which one's better. Yep. That's All right. lake trout there. Salmon. Uh, he, did salmon. Add, he did indeed catch a salmon, so he can take credit for it. All right, let's yeah. try it out. Johnny, I think, was sleeping when we were catching these fish. So yeah. it seems a little bit hot still. It's going to burn my mouth when I put it in. Just say it's better when it's hot. That was a pretty good texture. Decent taste. Not fishy. No, definitely not. Not fishy. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was not sure how, what to expect uh, compared to our trusty king salmon here. The meat was much more orange on the trout. Mm -hmm. Salmon is a little bit fishier in flavor compared to the lake trout. But if you take a close look, this you can still see has almost a little bit of like an orangish tint to it still. It is cooked all the way through, but you can still kind of tell that there's a difference. Yeah, definitely very good. This is also, the salmon is a lot thicker, so it's a little bit more moist in the middle versus the trout. Yeah. It'd be a little bit more dried out, but pretty good. So the salmon and the lake trout both taste good, but I'm going to have to give the title to the lake trout. I'm sure that you can agree too. Yeah, I'd say the lake trout is pretty good. Yeah, but only problem is with lake trout, especially out of Lake Ontario, you just got to be mindful of how many of lake trout, how many lake trout you keep and the size of them that you keep. We obviously kept a smaller one, and you don't want to be eating Lake Ontario lake trout every single day because the larger the fish, the older the fish, which lake trout are known to get pretty old, they can accumulate a high amount of mercury, which can get you really sick with heavy metal poisoning or mercury poisoning. So you just have to keep that in mind when harvesting fish out of Lake Ontario. Anyways, that's all for JK Fishing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. Anyways, that's all for today. We hope to see you next time. Maybe I won't be sleeping in too. <laughs>